Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Midnight Popular episode 13 to 14. Let's go ahead and get started. Whew. My pen name is QB Noyuko, as you already know. My birth name, though, it's Balthaman. Quincy Balthaman. C -c Quincy B Balthaman? The heir to the Balthaman organization? In the flesh? Oh boy, Mr. Morrison is stunned for, I'll say. That's one of the most powerful crime syndicates in the region, isn't it? No way. And nobody ever done a background check on Quincy? Well, all Mr. Morrison cared about was that Quincy was bringing in tons of money for us at one point. Damn it. He must be telling the truth. Given how powerful and vicious that organization is known to be, nobody would dare make such a bold claim and in front of this many people. And I'm here to set the record straight. You didn't fire me. I fired you. Uh, what? Wait, that's it? That was all he wanted to say? Let's go, Tora. I'm done wasting my time here. Well, this is easy. I'll just do some damage control with him. Maybe he can even put in a good word for me with his father, Vincent Balthaman. Wait! Quincy, I mean, young master Balthaman. If you want to, I can arrange for you to rejoin the company. I know that you love what you do here, and you've been working very hard for us. I'm sure our board of directors would be most happy to oblige. Don't, wor don't you worry about that. I'm over it now. Good thing you stopped me, though, because I almost forgot to add. I hope you got the most expensive insurance plans about available for your home and all those factories and warehouses you own. Because you'll be needing them. <laughs> In about two hours time. Ugh. No. Miss Morrison, oh no, it is a cardiac arrest. I don't think so, his breath is pul and pulse are normal, probably passed out from shock. Hurry, call an ambulance and get the police. John Morrison, CEO. Police, it's a freaking Baltimore organization we're talking about. I think he'll need the military to protect him now. Well, time to get a new job. Oh, thank God I've been looking for an excuse to leave. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I told you to rough him up a little, not break his goddamn jaw. You don't know how many times I had to keep myself from shrieking. Huh, you could have fooled me. I thought it was your old man sitting there at the table. Well, duh, I am his son after all, but don't change the subject, pal. It's not broken, not even close. How do you, how do you know that? Personal experience. <laughs> what? Do you mean your own or someone else's? <laughs> uh. <laughs> His smile is so mischievous. Oh. God damn it, Tor, stop with the creepy ass smile of yours. <laughs> Why all the chicks are so smitten by it is completely beyond me. Jealous. Not in a million years. Huh. Don't huh me, you creepy bastard. If only those women knew how you spent your summer break hunting down spiders and setting them on fire to hear them scream. I swear to God, if you ever bring a girl home, that's the first thing I'm telling her. Yeah, that's real cute. You trying to, trying to do that, Quincy boy? Uh. Anyway. You haven't answered my quench my question. Was it you or someone else with that personal experience? Morbid curiosity got the better of it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, he's a... <laughs> Never mind, you're right. Either way, I don't want to know. I guess you're what the corporate world calls overqualified for the job. <laughs> so, how'd that feel like? <sighs> Honestly, shitty, terrible, underwhelming. This was a stupid idea from the start. Now that I had a taste of it, there's nothing sweet about vengeance. All I feel is disgust at myself for stooping so low. I should call to check on Morrison. If he isn't already lying unconscious in the hospital right now. How the hell have you been living your life like this? Someone's got to take out the trash. That someone just happens to be me. And people like me. Yeah, I can see that. It's just probably just a job to you. Guess you're all desensitized to everything by now. If you ask me, though, I don't think violence is the answer to everything or anything. And I'm even more certain about that now. And how about working out for you? It's working out just fine, Dr. Phil. <laughs> Who the hell is Dr. Phil? I'll be more shocked if you knew who you were. <sighs> Look, Quincenton. Huh? When Big Bro Tor gets down to your level and calls you by your name, you know he's about to give you a talk to- Don't get cheeky with me. Oh! I'm telling Dad you hit me! Go right ahead, you little snitch. You freaking suck. Your bruises last for days and I have a date tonight. Damn it, I don't remember which video tutorial follows to style my hair. Oh! Morrison, a dickhead. And I would have gone and fucked that man up myself after what he did to you today. Okay, I don't mean work work, but I really need your help, bro. Like, for real. I just found out that Morrison's been plagiarizing my work. And the novel manuscripts was submitted to him that he rejected for being garbage. And then today, his secretary called to say that I they terminated my contract because I've got diva issues. And now I won't be getting a single cent for all the work I've done for him. That's one whole year worth of nonstop work, man. I also try tired of being pushed around just because I don't use my status to get in my way. And maybe because I look like, like, a pussy. I was going to say a pushover, but yeah, that too. <laughs> and if you hadn't been there in that office, it would have been ten times worse for that prick. So stop beating yourself up over this. Got it? People do dumb shit all the time, especially when they've been hurt. You're only freaking human, after all. Yeah, I got it. Bro, do you still have that black baseball hat you used to wear all the time? I'm so done with work. Young Master Bothman is gonna hit the clubs tonight. And I'm gonna, I'm thinking of going for that badass street thug look. So could I borrow your hat? Pretty please? No. Jeez, must you always be so possessive with your belongings? Just so you know, women hate possessive men. Quincy, I don't freaking care. Did Ronzo get a hold of the info? Unknown number. If it's not him, then who? Hey, hey, hey. Who just texted? Is it my old man? Yo, is it me he's looking for? Tell the old man I'm not. Wait a minute. That's not my old man. The girl from Chevy's restaurant. Who is that? Hello? Uh, is this Tora? I'm the girl from Chevy's restaurant. You passed your business card to me just now? I was just wondering. Oh, man. Wait a minute. That's not my old man. The girl from Chevy's restaurant. Who is that? Huh? 
She'd been typing for five minutes straight now. Is she ever going to send out that message? Who is the girl anyway? Someone new in your or our organization? Huh? Huh, bro. You're, sm you're smiling at your phone. Shut up. I'm not smiling. Yes, you are. <laughs> you look like a starving wolf that just stomped on a fat, juicy lamb. Too funny. No, wait, bro. <laughs> just kidding. Calm down now. Oh, no. Stop. Stop. Please. I'm just kidding. I'm freaking swear. Help. Dad. Somebody help me. <laughs> You're a freaking monster. <laughs> that was too cute. Will you be able... Hi. He just read it. Oh no. Read, read. Darn it. He read the message. Oh, I can't unsend it now, even if I wanted to. Shoot. I need to find a place where I can die of embarrassment in private. I hope he isn't just standing there, waiting for me to finish my sentence. Christ. How long does she need to type out one message? Bruh, can we go now? I'm dying here. <laughs> earlier on. Earlier on. Alright. Fess up. I know something's bothering you. What's going on? Listen, girl. We're going to smush the crap out of your, uh, out of your apartment with Sage and... Paulo Santo. I can't believe all that happened to you in the span of less than two days. That place must be cursed. Uh, but I'm so proud of you, girl. You're handling all of this like a queen. A queen complete with two perfectly done French braids. Pretty much the only thing in my life that's perfectly done don't hate. <laughs> Stop it. I promise. I'll teach you how. As soon as all my work is done. <laughs> Heard that one two weeks ago. Your work is never done. I'm a graphic designer and I have half the workload that you do. Hmm. There. There's just one more thing I left out. I messed up big time with Mr. Lamb, Erdine. He left before I even got to make my presentation. He was going on and on and I couldn't get a word in. And and he thought that I was a teenager, so I can't imagine he even taking me seriously after that. Thing is, I've spent all my savings on rental down payment. So I was hoping I could get away with more casual outfits until our next payday. At least by then, I'll have enough money to get proper business outfits that'll also fit me better. Gil was the only one in the city willing to take me take a chance on me as a fresh gra graduate with zero work experience and I hate that I let him down before I even started Pops come here girl sorry I'm being a bony bitch but I'm sure my hugs aren't that great well you're the best bony bitch <laughs> your bony bitch goals Gil has no idea how lucky he is to have a loyal employee like you. <laughs> Do I get a bonus point for being ditzy? Now you're pushing it. <laughs> Which reminds me, so that guy who saved you from that fall told you he's a celebrity and you actually bought it? Of course I didn't. I'm sure he had his reasons for keeping his face hidden, so I just played along. You sneaky little devil. You're always doing this play along thing and people fall for it all the time. Evolution 101. When you're a, as small as I am, sometimes getting away is a better option than getting your way. Okay, in all seriousness, I didn't want him to feel more awkward than he was already feeling. Poor guy sounded so embarrassed, especially after I complimented him for having a nice voice. Psh. Embarrassed? About what? Does he have 20 double chins, a third eye, or a unibrow? 
How should I know? Maybe he's just shy. Hmm. He must at least be very strong and tall to cushion your fall so effortlessly. Wow, really? I never thought of it that way before. You're fainting again, aren't you? I'm that very... Uh, I am. That's very clever of you. Erdine, I'm very impressed. Stop that. I see right through you now. <laughs> Seriously, though, I'm more concerned about the photo taken of me on the train. What Inspector Lane said makes sense. It does look like an accident. Maybe he wants to take a photo of you because he finds you cute? <laughs> I doubt it. Not a chance. Guys like him don't do cute. He's more likely to go... This girl be looking like a Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma take a crap photo of this damn Pikachu and show it to my crap friends. <laughs> damn it, Poppy. You need to stop making that face before you get sued for copyright infringement. Oh my gosh. I'm just kidding, but I mean, I think you're missing the point. Like... What if that photo gets leaked by accident and ends up on some sleazy website? And if a future employer finds that photo online, that, that, what would they think about me? And what if my friends find it or my granny pops? If your granny sees that photo on a corn site, you might have bigger issues on hand than just a photo. I'm just saying, Dean. I'm helping Gil run a tabloid tabloids magazine over here and all people I should know that these things do happen you know pops for your own sanity's sake why not just ask him about the photo for the sounds of it he seems hella big and scary and I can't imagine that someone as tiny as you confronting a person like that must be terrifying but then he spent his entire afternoon chasing down Mr. Lamb for you Right after chasing you down in a his car? Like, shut up, girl. If a guy did that for me, I'll marry him. Yes, because it's perfectly safe and logical to marry a guy you've only known for a day. Oh, look who's all grown up and mature now. <sighs> I'm sorry, Erdeen. I didn't mean to unleash all that rage on you. Uh, you don't have to apologize, Pops. I understand perfectly. I know something was bothering you. Well, even Jacob could tell, but Jacob is annoying and useless, so let's leave him out of the equation. <laughs> Besides, given your situation and any other person would have been insanely overwhelming. I don't think you even had time to process all of this. Have you? I haven't, and I probably should. I'll try to do some journaling when I get back home today. I should head home and get some rest now. You should definitely do that. Get those pesky thoughts down on paper. You'll feel a thousand times better. The patio. Oh. So much for heading back home and getting my thoughts down on paper. You're a glutton for punishments, aren't you, Pops? I was totally not prepared for him to read the message so soon. Uh. No way! <laughs> what? Darn it, I'm not prepared for this. We don't. We don't. What? What could he possibly have texted me? Tonight at 10, the Black Swan Bistro and Bar. Don't be late. Oh my gosh. One, look, I'm glad that Poppy has a friend that she can vent to and get, like, advice from. But man, it makes sense why she's a little bit skittish when it comes to, like, messaging this person to ask him, like, hey, can you delete this photo of me? But it's going to get interesting. And for Quincy boy, <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny to see him having that, like, the scary, like, 
I'm gonna eat you up kind of look and tone just to turn out that he's a little bunny you know a sweet little bunny who's afraid of everything so all right guys if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments and I'll catch you guys next time bye